So how do you fly a plane with a disability? That was the same thought I had when I first heard about it, but I also thought, why not give it a go? In this video, I visit AirAbility to have my first go at flying a plane. Hopefully this will show you a bit more about how it's done, but also encourage you to give it a go yourself. So welcome to another episode of the Tetra Travels and please remember to like, subscribe and share it if you do enjoy it. So we've just arrived at the AirAbility um, flight school. Uh, like a bit rushed here a bit because traffic around the M25 so it's been a bit chaotic. So it's nice that they're actually running a little bit behind schedule. Um, we've just come into like the training room um, where they're going to sort of give us a safety briefing uh, and then we'll see where we go from there. When we arrived, we had the briefing of how to be safe in the air before heading out to the hangar. Everything was level access and they were building their own plane in the corner made by some of the students, which was quite fascinating. So how the hell do you get into a plane when you can't move from the chest down and you have no use in your hands? Well, at AirAbility, if you can't transfer onto the wing yourself and slide into the seat, then we use a hoist. This is a standard under the bed hoist. They first manoeuvre you to the wing and then they place you in the seat with a slide board on it and a slide sheet. For those that don't know, a slide board is a slippery piece of wood and a slide sheet is a sort of plastic sheet. Both of these enable surfaces to be more slippery. They are in place so that you can slide across into the passenger seat once you're into the plane. Once they unclip the hoist, I helped push across to the left hand seat while someone behind me dragged my bum to the left until I was in a position and ready to fly. As you can see, once you're in the plane, it is quite cosy. If you're a fan of personal space, then maybe this isn't the one for you. Once your headphones are on so you can hear the pilot over all the noise, you're ready to go. The instructor pilot tells you exactly what to do, and as it was my first go, he did all the taxiing, most of the takeoff, as well as ensuring all the settings and dials were correct. Upon takeoff though, you do have the opportunity to pull back on the steering wheel in order to get lift off. In the air, the steering is left up to the passenger as much as they feel they're able to do. Unfortunately, my fingers do not work that well, so I wasn't able to do any of the dials. However, I could work up to this in the future. Frankly, I think steering was just enough. Just to be focusing on this for the first time, especially as it felt very nerve-wracking. I was also amazed by how little force it took to make small adjustments. However, after my session, my arms were aching a lot, as it was just not a position or movement I was used to. Once my hour was up, we landed before heading back into the building to get a certificate. I have to say, what a thrilling day, and I will definitely be back. I hope some of you do too. They're a great organisation, and the aim is to really get you to achieve as much as you possibly can. I never thought I'd fly a plane after my injury, but here we are. Please consider giving AirAbility a go. Fantastic day, fantastic experience, and I'm sure you won't regret it. So I just did my flight with AirAbility. I had a really great time. Um, the instructor was really great. Um, like, yeah, sort of let me take control as much as possible, but obviously it is my first time, so he did a lot of it, um, and like the most of the takeoff and the landing and all of that. Um, and all the control, all like sort of the altitude and all of that sort of stuff he was judging. But it was really good fun, I really recommend it. Um, actually, reasonably tiring on your arms, even though you're only doing small movements, you're kind of on the steering wheel the whole time. Um, so yeah, like, if you did that enough, you'd get quite strong arms, I think, as a person with a disability. But yeah, I would definitely like to do it again at some point, and uh, really recommend it. So that's been another episode of the Tetra Travels. If you enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe. And remember, go out and try it. What's there to lose? That's it from me. Goodbye.